Hey there, it's time again for the three big things you need to know. I'm gonna do things a little bit different today. I'm gonna to do three common mistakes that real estate agents make when working with buyers or sellers or writing the contract. The first big mistake that we see is don't list personal property on a contract if you can get away with it. If the seller's conveying a, a golf cart or a big screen TV uh, or pool equipment to a buyer that's buying their home, just list it on a separate addendum. You don't want a lot of things on there that might look like it is something to entice the sale of the property. Lenders don't finance pool equipment and big screen TVs or golf carts or whatever it may be in a mortgage over 30 years. They don't last 30 years. It makes it complicated when you do that. An appraiser has to establish value for things that are conveyed. So in the future, if you have questions about adding uh, personal items to a contract, give me a call. I'll help you with that and how to best get through it. Second big thing you need to know is always use the full legal name of a buyer and seller. Bill Smith and Sue Smith are not legal names. It would probably be Susan Smith and William Smith. And if they have a junior or senior on their name, get it. You want to know what their name is based on their driver's license. So ask them, how does it read on your driver's license? Or how does it read on your social security card? The appraisal, the contract, the mortgage application all have to match up with the exact same names. So make it simple. Save yourself some headaches on that. And the third big thing you need to know is there is a misnomer that real estate agents have to give the name of three lenders when referring a lender. You don't have to do that. There's nothing in your guidelines, there's nothing in the laws, there's nothing in your code of ethics that says that you have to give out three names. When you give out three names of people, it tells the buyer that you're not fully confident in any particular one of them. Or they call all three, they get three different answers, and you have nothing but a confused buyer right from the get-go. You don't have to give three names. If I got a referral for you as a real estate agent, do you think I'm going to give that referral to three real estate agents and say, hey, you guys go fight out for it. Whoever has the best price wins. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to refer you, the real estate agent, so strong that my client knows that I have 100% confidence in you. I would tell them that I'm referring you to this real estate agent because if I were buying a house right now, I'd use the real estate agent myself. That's how good they are. That's how much confidence I have in this real estate agent. Do the same thing for your lender. If it's not me, pick somebody that you really like and trust. Somebody that's loyal to you. Somebody that's going to be there. Somebody that's going to answer your questions during and after hours. Somebody that's going to put out fires when you need them. I'm applying for the job. You know I can handle the job. You just don't need to look any further. Choose the loan arranger and we'll make sure that we close more transactions and have happier customers. Have a great weekend.